Hello everyone, uh, just a quick uh, video on the topic of EDID, um, which stands for uh, Extended Display Identification Data. Now this is, uh, this is a conversation that occurs between external displays and computers, whether it's a Mac or a PC. So it causes quite a lot of trouble with AV systems. Uh, so I just want to go over uh, exactly what it is and then I'll demonstrate uh, one of the uh, more recent problems and how we overcome it. So uh, basically you have a display, doesn't matter what this is, it could be a projector, it could be an LCD panel, uh, typically for us we install them into uh, rooms, meeting rooms, classrooms, so forth. Uh, then you have a laptop that you're plugging in, now again this could be a PC or it could be a Mac, generally plugging in via a wall socket, okay. We're plugging into our display to get our image up. Okay, now what happens is that every one of these devices, uh, certainly anything created in recent times, communicates back to the laptop, telling the laptop what its preferred display resolution is, and also what other display resolutions it can even uh, show up at all. So that conversation goes this way, okay, goes down the connection, that does it goes down both. You know, the old VGA style connection and it goes down the new HDMI digital style connection and that's, that's where the edit flows. It goes this way, okay, and, it's, and, it, and it determines, or it tells this device what resolution to output, okay. Now, we've been dealing with edit issues for a long time and we take them into consideration with uh, all of our designs and installations uh, and sometimes we put special, you know, you can call it a magic box or edit emulators or things that that tell the laptop something different to what the display was or that replace this conversation because sometimes the conversation is lost if you use long, special long distance cables or Cat5 extenders or whatever the design might call for. But what I want to address today, and I'm plugged in at the moment uh, via VGA with this laptop over here, you can see this, okay? And if we check the resolution that the whole system is defaulting to, up on the screen here, you can see that it's defaulting to, or maybe you can't, but this is 1280 by 800. Now that's the native display of this, and that's why we get a nice, clear, sharp image. The problem that's showing up is that we're recommending clients put HDMI in as a part of their installations these days, and that's because many laptops are coming out now and they don't even feature a VGA connector, so to get a reliable connection you want to have the, the modern HDMI digital connection. We've seen this with, with a number of displays, a number of laptops. Uh, if I plug this in, in this case we're using a new Epson EB1410 uh, WI interactive projector. I'll just change this across to the HDMI input. So I'm plugged in via HDMI now. Now what's happening is that the edit information coming out of the HDMI port is telling the computer that its preferred resolution is 1920 1080. Okay, if I change this to. So it's saying 1920 1080, and that's fine, it's capable of doing that, it's doing the right thing. The problem is, is that in classrooms and meeting rooms, you can see that 1920 1080 displayed on this projector, it's very small and it's very difficult because it's above the native resolution of the projector itself. So this is, this is going to be a problem for anything but full HD projectors, basically. Okay, and yeah, users can come in here and they can change their display settings and it'll fix the problem. Uh, however, uh, you know, we always like to design very simple to use AV systems. So we've come up with a solution whereby we put in one of our magic black boxes, a special program called Eden Emulator, which is this little black box here. And we program this up with the, uh, the Eden settings that we want it to spit out. And what we want it to do is we want it to tell uh, the laptop to run at the native resolution of that projector. So when I put this little device in line, and we would hide this in the wall or uh, on top of the projector, you can see suddenly I'm still running on HDMI, I haven't changed anything else, and suddenly we have this beautiful clear picture, and it's, it's beautiful and clear because we've, it's now changed its resolution settings on the, on the uh, laptop and it's now running at 1280 by 800. I'm still on HDMI, um, but you know, it just makes it nice and simple for users that can just come along, whether they plug in via VGA, whether they plug in via HDMI, 
they get a nice sharp picture, uh, no problems. So um, that's a feature that we'll be offering on our installs moving forward.